Welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Okay, so what do you do when you're a Russian mogul with an inherent fear of death? Uh, duh. You decide to assemble a team of Russian scientists who are as passionate about neuroscience, android robotics, and cybernetic immortality as you are to create a way for humans to live forever. 31-year-old Dmitry Itskov has brought together a group of scientists who are hoping to create fully functional holographic human avatars with artificial brains that would theoretically house complete consciousness. The goal behind what is known as the 2045 initiative is to have a human brain inside an artificial body in as little as seven years. Seven years. So in the amount of time you could start and end college with a master's degree, there could be an artificial body housing a human brain. That kind of ambition, however, takes money, and money comes from rich people. So Dmitry Itzkov is offering personal immortality projects for free in exchange for money. It makes sense. In an open letter to Forbes World's Billionaire List, aka World's Biggest Douchebag List, I'm all right. Totes, my goats, bros. Think about how many jet skis those fuckers have. Probably like seven at least each. Yeah. Douchebags. He stated, I urge you to take note of the vital importance of funding scientific development in the field of cybernetic immortality and the artificial body. Such research has the potential to free you, as well as the majority of all people on the planet, from disease, old age, and even death. And for some reason, maybe because this is a totally impossible endeavor, Dimitri has been met with some skepticism. In response to this skepticism, however, popular science has said that the project's first milestone is well within reach. But Discovery's Alyssa Danigellis stated, There's a world of difference between pursuing a brain controlled exoskeleton to help paraplegics regain control, and wanting to essentially upload a human brain into an artificial body. So just to recap, robotic copy of human body by 2015 to 2020, avatar with human brain by 2020 to 2025, avatar with artificial brain in which a human personality can be transferred at the end of one's life, and by 2040 to 2045, a holographic avatar. But he did give it a five year grace period for each milestone, which is good because we wouldn't want him to be unrealistic. <laughs> right. So obviously we're kind of skeptical about this, even if it does sound cool, but the question has to be raised. Would you, Elliot, want to live forever? <laughs> no. <laughs> the biggest question of humankind's existence is whether there's life after death, reincarnation, or just a black abyss of nothingness. So to permanently postpone my having the answer to the ultimate question is far more daunting than death itself. What about you, Steve? No, I want to fly and stuff. Yeah. No, I, I want to live forever. All right, all right. <laughs> There's also the question of the population boom, resources on Earth, and the ever-present possibility that we're going to fill up this planet and, for all intents and purposes, break the thing. So, to take away the one thing that has kept us from killing ourselves off and only have human beings being born and no humans dying seems like a surefire way to create our own little apocalypse. Yeah, but I still want to fly and stuff. And get, like, the iPhone 20. I mean, that thing's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine it. No, I, I guess I, I do. I probably could stick around for the iPhone. But after the iPhone 20, I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. Wait, wait. So you just wait until the iPhone 20 comes out and then check out? Yeah, it probably wouldn't be called like the iPhone 20, though. It would probably be called like the new, 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 new iPhone. The newest. The newest iPhone is probably what it will be called. Okay, probably won't be called that. So if you could live forever, would you and why? Let us know in the comments down below. And like, subscribe. We have an annotation with five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Bye. See ya.